Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to well another Vision News World uh, video. This is probably the first video that's going on this channel of mine, but oh uh, well if you guys like them maybe I'll make some more. But um basically what I'm gonna be doing is a little simple effect tutorial on how to do something a little a very a very nice effect for like when you get a kill or something or a um collateral which um it just makes it look really nice. So we're just gonna ram preview this and see what we got. Let's just see. Okay. So can you see this kind of like little flash effect here? Like it makes it look a little bit cartoony. If I just quickly turn off the RSMB, you can see this little flash effect going on here. It makes it look nice and cartoony, which looks really cool, I think, in my opinion. And if you just add in the RSMB Pro, it just makes it look even better. Right, so basically what this, um, basically I'm going to be teaching you how to do this. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so basically... All, it's very simple um, what that was basically what you want to do is you just want to have everything synced up as you do press ctrl D to duplicate that clip I uh, just hide the twixer I didn't delete it I hid it and basically what you want to do is you want to go and find um, search find edges the effect find edges in the stylus tab you can get it and basically now what you want to do and after that is find the effect tint or the, the color correction tint and basically that just makes everything black and white which is pretty cool, which um yeah, which makes it look pretty sleek. Stoof like that. And um uh I think no, yep, that's fine, that's perfect. And now you've got this cartoony look on your hands. What to do with it? Basically what you want to do is you wanna hit T on your duplicated layer, hit the opacity, um turn it down to zero, like click the little stopwatch, turn it up to when you get the kill, boom just bring this in a little and then go out and when your slow motion starts to happen drag that back to zero hooray that's the basics that's the basis of the um, effect done and now all you need to do is add some really nice color correction and then you're done yeah that's it it's a really simple tutorial um, very simple um, tutorial uh, very easy um, this is for beginners mainly um, it, it really does um, uh, make a good effect and basically what I'm going to be doing now is I just added an adjustment layer and um, basically um, I'm going to add some uh, magic bullet misfire and I'm going to add a vignette and um, basically I'm going to make the size of that just a little bit smaller make the strength of it a little bit bigger there we go go to effect I'm going to go to magic bullet misfire again I'm just going to add some flickering to this uh, make the frequency 100 make the amount 5 so it happens quite a lot okay and then now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to effect magic bullet looks and I'm just going to quickly pr pick one from the presets um, which is in here uh, where is it infusion that's what it's called I'm just going to get the diffusion and turn the bias down I think is what it's called Yeah, and then press finished. Also, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to effect. And now this is how you um, make um, black bars. You want to go to effect, generate grid. And basically what you want to do is you want to go to width and height sliders. Make the width 720. And make the, no, make the height 720, sorry. And make the width 1 million. And then basically what you want to uh, what you want to do is um yeah well whatever you want to make the um anchor one million whatever oops wrong way <laughs> minus one million then okay so just till it's out there we go and you just want to set the blending mode to normal you want to basically set the second um coordinate to seven twenty as that's the height make the color black and make the border very very big and this is how you get black bars just to let you know and now what we're also going to add is we're going to add the go click highlight the layer go to effect and we're also going to add some RSMB Pro which makes it look very nice and smooth so now let's um, have a look at what this looks like and I hope I haven't got my mic muted because that's what happened the last time 
and it really, really, really sucked. So, we basically done like a little, very, very quick tutorial, and this is for beginners as well. Um, so, it's a very entry level tutorial, very, it makes everything look really, it makes it look really nice, and it's just pretty simple to do. Two effects is the main thing, I've just added color correction to it, black bars, and just made it look a little bit nicer. So, let's have a look at this. So you could also expand the timeout for how long it's actually there, which I'm going to do just now. So it's a little bit longer than a second. So that looks pretty nice. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want more of these videos, please go subscribe to my channel. Um, and well, if um, if you want some more on this channel, please feel free to ask, and maybe I'll upload some more if this ever gets uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next in another video.